welcome back to Danza's Recipes. So today, we are continuing our Rainforest Collaborative Shirt Series. So we are kicking things off today with a little brunch special, with a twist of course. So we'll be working today with two ingredients. One, we'll be working with the Rainforest Caribbean Snapper Filet, and two, we'll be working with the Rainforest Frozen Mango. Yes, guys, Rainforest has frozen fruit, and let me tell you, they are absolutely amazing. They're what I use on a weekly basis, or you know, whenever I do my jamily, those frozen fruits are what I enjoy using in my creations, and they are 100% real fruit, and it doesn't have that weird, you know, unnatural, overly large look. It's real fruit and it's amazing flavor wise as much as it's frozen it packs a bunch of flavor so today we will be working with the caribbean snapper filet in conjunction with the mango for a nice um brunch dish with a little spin of course so i hope you guys will enjoy this video i had fun making it i think the flavors work beautifully together and i'm going to take you guys on a culinary journey today um, it does take a bit of doing, but I know that my lovely dancers, yes, I have a name for you guys. Let me know what you guys think about that name. Anyways, I know that you guys will have an amazing time with this video and also recreating these recipes. Big, big shout out to everybody who has been creating some of my recipes. It means the absolute world to me. And also, big, big shout out to every single person that has subscribed so far. I love you guys. So let's go match up this little brunch special today. And I'll see you guys next week on episode 3. Alright guys, so today we are working with the Caribbean Snapper Fillets from Rainforest, of course. One of the things that I love about this is just how it's packaged. They are in a Ziploc type bag and then each individual piece of fish is then packaged in a vacuum sealed airtight um, plastic thing. And I think this is very convenient, especially if you're not trying to cook everything at the same time. And it also helps to keep the pieces of fish very, very fresh. So I'll be using all four pieces. I'll be cutting them um, in long strips and then I'm going to wash them off in some vinegar. And we're just going to season them today. So let's go. All right, guys, so the fish is washed, cut into long strips. What I'm doing now, I'm just pat drying them so that when we put them in the dredge, they don't get soggy while we're frying them. So we're just taking out some of the excess water from the fish itself, and then we're going to season it with just salt and pepper. Yes, people, just salt and pepper. Good old s and p And then we're going to let it sit for a while before we get to frying. And the next thing we're going to work on is our dredge. All right, guys, so I've added some black pepper to the fish and now I'm just going to salt it and just let that sit for about 30 minutes. And like I said, we're going to work on a dredge, which is just going to be eggs, flour and breadcrumbs. So let's go. Alright guys, so first we take a piece of fish, we drop it in the egg wash 
and then we're gonna put it in the flour and coat it in the flour and then once we're finished with that we are gonna place it back into the egg wash and then finally we'll put it um, in the breadcrumbs and then we'll get to frying All right, guys so um i've turned the fish once so far i'm turning them a second time because i want them to have a deep brown color now at this point if you want to pull yours out that is completely fine if you're okay with this color but i do want a deeper brown on them and then i'll pull them out so the total frying time is between three to five minutes on both sides okay so next up we have our mango chunks from rainforest um i love the packaging i love that it's you know sealed tight and so the mangoes remain fresh even after they're thawed and they don't get mushy they're cut in about one inch pieces which makes them really nice to work with and so um we're gonna be using this as the base of our salsa so let's go get that started Alright guys, so now we are going to get started on our waffles. Now today we're going to be doing a play on scallion and corn pancakes, but instead we'll be doing waffles. So we're doing scallion and corn waffles and so what we're going to do is we're going to mix our dry ingredients, then our wet ingredients, then we put everything together in the waffle maker. so this is what our waffle looks like um it's a little golden but i do want it to cook a little longer so i'm going at it one more time all right and i'm giving it just a little flip um so that the underside can get a nice um brown color as the top has and then that's it but i'm just leaving it for another 20 seconds or so because i don't want it to burn Alright guys, so we're using our mangoes one more time to make a syrup, so let's go. Alright guys, so this is five minutes later. As you can see, it's bubbling up real nicely. Um, but it hasn't started to thicken as yet so the total cook time on this is about 30 to 35 minutes and then we're just gonna 
stir occasionally to ensure that you know it's not sticking or burning and also to ensure that the pieces are actually being cooked through so as you can see they're still pretty firm and you know big big shout out to reinforce for these mangoes they're not mushy they're still nice and firm and i absolutely love them so 30 more minutes and then we will go ahead and make our syrup all right guys so as you can see um our liquid is far reduced it has thickened or mango pieces are soft so this is all indications that we're good and ready to pull this off and then we're going to strain the mango from the syrup so that we can just get that nice rich syrup and guys i recommend using a fine mesh strainer just so that you can extract all the juices without too much of the mango um, pulp or fruit itself and also for those folks who kind of are into mango that much after you strain off the syrup what's left is a nice mango jam that you can just you know have whenever you feel like it so yes guys we're basically just straining it and then we will have that nice beautiful syrup afterwards and there you have it guys mango syrup so for those who haven't heard about it it is a thing and you can make it using rainforest frozen mango and as i had mentioned for those persons who kind of like mango jam that that's what it looks like it kind of has like a marmalade -ish look that you can enjoy at any time Alrighty, guys so we are at the end and this is our finished product honestly um i think it's absolutely beautiful but let's talk about flavors everything just kind of works so nicely together that crisp on that fish complemented by that nice sticky syrup and the fish is nice and flaky on the inside i am dying for that mango syrup i can't believe i'm saying that but honestly guys and that mango salsa because we hit it with the pepper and the lime juice it now has more of an acidic bite to it to kind of cut through the richness of the fat of the fish and then we have the scallion just being really a nice element in that waffle so all in all guys i think that the flavors balance perfectly together i absolutely love how nice and rich that uh, caribbean snapper fillet is it didn't fall apart or anything like that it just fried really beautifully my favorite thing here is possibly that fish um along with the mango salsa i think they are absolutely perfect together they complement each other and i would 10 out of 10 recommend this uh, rainforest frozen mango along with their caribbean snapper fillet they're absolutely beautiful to work with but that's it from me this week you guys let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments down below and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i'll see you guys next week on episode three